Thank you. Good afternoon, my colleagues. I'm from Shenzhen Women's and Children's Hospital. So today's case is an abdominal wound endometriosis. Uh, so the case uh, age 39, uh, cesarean birth two. So periodical pain in cesarean skull, which on the abdominal wall. So with NRS score six, affects the slipping up quality. So let's check the whole process of the treatment. So 2013, the cesarean section due to abnormal fetal position, and 2015, an audio with periodical pain in cesarean second scar. And uh, 2016, the cesarean section due to scarred uterus and removed and uh, AW mass lesion. In 2018, an audio in cesarean scar, which on the abdominal wound, periodical pain recurs and without treatment. And uh, this pain is not that obvious, so uh, she just uh, observed the uh, pain. Considering that uh, she had already uh, take this take one operation, so and also the patient feel reluctant to have another one. But with the uh, severity of this uh, um, disease, so uh, the progress the exacerbation for one year and significant enlargement of the nodule. So you can see uh, um, see this size nodule size of a seven uh, times five obvious tenderness on clear border and so at 2020 uh, the ultrasound shows that lump in a muscular layer lower at a abdominal incision and a position on middle uh, line above the incision and the others uh, shows no positive uh, signals so the present uh, uh, portfolios um, in terms of this, we didn't see an international consensus. And the surrounding syringes uh, of this tissue are very uh, tight. So diagnosis is uh, the ad ad abdominal war endometriosis. So with such a large lesion, and the reluctancy to have this uh, surgery um, and its invasion into the male mattress. Um, so it will be a challenge for the surgeon. So after the um, operation, there might be an increased risk of uh, complications. And so we choose the high food treatment. <coughs> so we have uh, uh, sonication time for 1,000 seconds with the average power of 120 watt. So um, in, with an interval of 25 uh, seconds. This is a comparison before and after. So satisfactory outcome of the ablation and also the... Uh, for this uh, post-operation uh, management, uh, we do not have a um, consensus in this. But the nodule uh, pains are greatly relieved, and three months after the uh, treatment, the size also reduced from seven centimeters to one centimeters and then uh, reduced to four millimeters and one year uh, it reduced to four millimeters so uh, two years after the surgery and we can see there are no uh, abnormal echo from the ultrasound and a no clinical recurrence just the last month uh, she had another re-examination so uh, it indicates that the abdominal uh, nodule is the same with the previous ones. So the recurrence rate is very low. But with the rate uh, increase of uh, the cesarean section, it causes some pains and uh, trouble for the patients. And um, it has been reported in some literatures uh, for its efficacy and safety and for those larger and the deeper uh, lesion, we suggest uh, high food treatment and it's effective. Thank you.